hey guys welcome back again to this amazing space of mine how are you doing hope you all are well and safe i welcome each and every one of you in the name of jesus how are you doing hope you're well so in today's video we're going to be talking about the power of sand sand can be used to do different things sand can be used to place a curse sand can be used to reverse a curse sand can be used to remove spell and to restore fine and to restore your financial glory so whichever one you want to use it for it is left for you but do not use it for evil purposes because somehow it's going to backfire back at you but in today's video i'm going to be talking about using sand to restore financially and also to remove spell and curses from your life. So if this is a type of video you like watching, please do stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Do not forget, watch my adverts, don't skip my adverts. So if you see me for the first time, you are most welcome. My name is Amanda and you're welcome to Catholic Reflection Family. Do me a favor and be a part of this amazing family because on this space, I pray, I pray, I seek the intervention of God. We seek the intervention of God together because I know definitely that God in his infinite mercy will come through for us. Those things that seems impossible to man, to him, it is not impossible. And he will restore all that which you have lost. That I am sure of. So be a part of this amazing community by subscribing to my channel. Turn on your bell notification. You know that little bell beside the subscription box? That is the bell notification. Turn it on so that whenever I go live, because I go live every day, or whenever I upload a video, you will be the first to be notified. This is a disclaimer. I do not have any orphanage. I don't donate to any orphanage. When I want to do my private donation, I go alone. I don't seek help from anyone. So if anyone comes under your comment trying to tell you to donate to an orphanage or a motherless baby's home, please, that is not me. They are trying to scam you. They've gone ahead to create um, a YouTube, um, a, is it a YouTube profile? Yes, with my logo. So as to scam people, please do not fall victim to these people. Okay. They invite you to their WhatsApp and, and direct you to their WhatsApp. When you get to their WhatsApp, they tell you to bring your picture and to give them money so that they can do spiritual work for you. That is not me. I do not ask money from anyone. When I want to pray for you on the WhatsApp, I pray for you. Okay. I don't even um, tell you to send me your pictures. I don't tell you to send me money to do spiritual works for you or to buy items for you. I do not ask you for money or whatsoever to pray for you. So if anyone is asking you for money, please, they are trying to scam you. Be careful. Don't give them your hard earned money. All right. So let's go straight into the video. You are welcome once again. And do not forget to share this video and give this video a thumbs up. Now the power of sand. Sand can be used in different ways and for different purposes. Today we shall be talking about the positive side of it. There are so many negative side of sand. Sand is one thing that you give command to and it answers because every human being walks under the surface of the earth. The walk under the sand. When I mean it, it is sand. So whatever you want to project something into someone's life, you use it. So whenever they walk under the earth, it affects them. But that is not what I want to talk about today. And please do not engage in such because it has great consequences. When it backfires, it takes all you've got. So please don't engage in it. What we're going to talk about today is the positive side of it. How to use it to remove curse. How to use it to reverse curse. How to use it to remove projection. If you notice that there is a projection, maybe you're sick and there's some kind of sickness in your body. You know this is not a normal sickness. That someone has really projected something into you. You're, you're doubting or rather you're suspecting that someone has done something, maybe done a voodoo or casted a spell on you. And it has affected you that by making you sick, you can use sand 
to remove it. I'm going to tell you shortly how to do it. Then if you notice that all of a sudden you were doing well, you were doing extremely well and things became bad for you, you went down immediately financially and you know very well that you did not do any bad financial um, decision. Please, if you are the type that makes financial decision, you really need to ask God to help you. Because making final, bad financial decisions, what it does to you is it destroys your sweat. It destroys your income and it takes you back to square one. Okay, all this, um, all this Ponzi scheme and all the rest of it, please try as much as possible to avoid it. And be careful when you're making any huge financial decision. Okay, you can even go to God in prayer, a three days prayer and ask him, is this possible? Will this scale through? Will this business be successful? Before you put your money into a business and some and along the line it will crash. But that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about if you noticed that you didn't make any financial bad financial decision and all of a sudden maybe you had the confrontation or those people that maybe they come home and maybe you meet an old wicked somebody. Okay, and they projected something to you and you are sure that this is a projection. You're sure that someone's hand is in this thing. Okay, you're going to use a sand. I'm going to tell you how to do it. Then another set of people is those that want to break curses. Those that want to break curses. In this particular one, you're going to get sand from your father's house. If you know that the curse following you is a generational one and you want to break it, be it a um, generation from your, maybe your father, your husband, an inherited curse, and you want to break it. This one, you need to get soil, sand from your father's house or from your husband's house, this particular one. But every other person can get sand from other places. Now, this is it. The next one is this. If you notice, maybe your children, they were okay. They were okay. And all of a sudden, they became sick. And terribly sick. No solution. And you've gone to all places. Medically, they're saying there's nothing wrong with them. But you yourself as a parent, you know very well that this is not how your child was when you gave birth to them or how they were growing. They were healthy, growing strong, but all of a sudden they became extremely sick. The devil or the evil one has planted an evil seed in them and you don't know what to do. This video is also for you. Get me a sand. I have a sample of sand here with me, but you need to get a bigger one. This is a smaller one just to make, just to show you. I put it under something. So this is it. This is sand. This is a smaller one. But if you would need it, if you're going to make the, use this video, please get a bigger sand. Okay. If you are breaking generational curse, go to your father's house and get the sand. If it is just to, for restoration, if um, it's just for restoration of finances. It's just to remove spell that someone casted on you. It's to remove curses that people placed on you. Or moving objects. Yes, another one is moving objects. If you know that something moves around your body. And you know this is a projection. Moving objects could be projected. You know how people stay and evil is projected into their body. I, I told you all the story of a widow that when her husband died, someone came for condolence. That day that they were doing the husband's funeral, someone came for condolence and tapped her at the back. When the person tapped her at the back, he projected something into her body. And right from that day, she's been having this strange movement go all over her body. That is to tell you how weak people, how wicked people are. You see a widow who just buried her husband. as an, It hasn't even stayed up to two hours. They, they just buried him immediately. And they came out from the funeral house. So you saw her. You saw how grieving she is. And you felt, oh, the husband is dead. Now it's time to kill the wife. You had to project evil into her. So if your case is evil projection, please get a sand. This is serious. And this prayer is extremely effective don't play with it the power of sand can never never be underestimated so get a sand get as many as you want you need to boil the sand boil it boil it very well wash it if you want to 
wash it to remove dirt. There is no amount of wash it that can remove the dirt anyway. But you can just wash the first one, then you boil it. Add water to the sand. Put it in the pot or whatever you're using to boil and add water to it. Allow it to boil very well. Then sieve it out. Keep the sand. What you'll be using is the water. Get the water. Add a little salt into it. Please allow it to cool down so that it won't burn your skin. Okay? Let it not be cold entirely. I like when you're praying, when you're doing any cleansing or any spiritual work, let it be warm water because it activates the power in that thing you're doing. So let it be warm water. Don't use extreme cold um, extreme cold water just warm water well enough to um not to um, burn your skin or something so this is what you're going to do get salt put inside the bucket the bucket that the water is in put a little salt into it please as you're doing this do not use a black bucket do not use a black bucket i would even prefer you use any shouty color but no black so you're going to use it the way you do a salt bath cleanse. First of all, you're going to have your normal bath with your soap with your sponge. So you're going to take it in. You're going to read Psalm 35. You're going to read Psalm 109. Psalm 35 and Psalm 109, yes. And you're going to tell God to consent with those who consent with you. This is a battle prayer. This is a battle prayer. You're reversing what the enemy has done to you. You're reversing what the enemy... First of all, this is what you're going to do when you get to the bathroom. When you finish praying that Psalm 35, pray Psalm 109. Then you tell God, you did not offend anyone. Please, make sure you did not offend anyone. Make sure you're not the cause of the problem. Because some people go about looking for trouble. When the people, person retaliates, it's just like this one now. Maybe you're innocent and you return it back to the person. And the person that you returned it to now started doing this thing. Why he or she is guilty. So make sure in the process of doing this that you are not in any way guilty. So if you're sure you've realized that you are not guilty, what you're going to do is this. You tell God you did not offend anyone. That you came to life. Uh, the way every other person was born. So whatever it is that has decided to torment your life, whatever it is that has decided not to give you peace, by his mercy, his anger, let it be removed. That you're washing away whatever the enemy has planted, however the enemy has destroyed you. You know how it is for you. You know the battles you're facing. You know the battles you're going through. So what, however the enemy has tried to distract you or disturb you or make you go down financially, let God in his anger arise and fight all those who are fighting against you. You want him to fight them. Fight them, O oh Lord. Destroy their plans. Let all their evil purposes go back to them in the name of Jesus. As you bait, O oh Lord, let all the things that they've done against you be washed out. And as this washing out, let it go back to whoever that sent it. Let it Go back to whoever that sent it. Let it go back to whoever that sent it in the name of Jesus. If it's a sick person, if, if, it, if it is a sick person that you're doing this thing for, or you're a sick person doing it, you're going to stand on something. Because after that, you're going to flush the water. For people in Nigeria, you know we have soccer ways and we have, uh, what's it called, gutters. You can go to the gutter and pour it away where nobody will step on it. But if you don't have, you pour it in your toilet and flush it very well. Okay? So you're going to return it. It's called Ijogu. In Igbo language, it's called Ijogu. In Ajogu. I am speaking my language. I'm sorry. For those who do not understand. Okay? 
I don't know if you understand me. Whoever that looks at me and feel I don't deserve the goodness of God, I don't deserve the good things I'm getting, let the person go blind. Whoever that projected evil to me, let it return back to them. I want my freedom. I want to be free from this oppression. I want to be free from this pain. I want to be free from whatever it is the enemy has projected into my life. I want total freedom. I want to be free in the name of Jesus. I want to be free in the name of Jesus. I want to be free. As you're pouring the water, don't use sponge, please. Don't use soap. I want to be totally free. Thereby, I am pouring and washing away whatever the enemy has done. What, however they've planted it in my life, I am washing it away. I take all away. Let it go back to them. I want to be free. Let every movement, especially those that have strange movements in their body, let every movement be destroyed. Whatever they've done to my finances that is causing me financial um, breakdown or that is causing me, that, that is making me to go down in depth, always in depth, Lord Jesus, remove it from me and I return to them whatever they have done. The Bible says, he that digs a pit shall fall into it. Anyone that is up against you or digging a pit for you or doing one evil thing against you let their schemes overwhelm them and let them fall into that pit which they have digged for you in the name of jesus i say amen to your prayers amen and amen so do this effectively you can do it for three days you can use that sand for three days but if you if you can be able to get enough sand you do it the first day you pour it away bring a fresh sand second day pour it away bring a, a second sand third day you pour it away you can do it like that okay do it effectively and always pray. Remember this season, we're doing intentional prayer for 30 days. Always pray. Do this and God will come through for you. The sun is powerful. It is earth. It is created by God. Remember when Jesus healed the blind man. What did he do? He touched his feet touched the sand and used it to heal the blind man that is the effectiveness of sand sand is extremely effective it is extremely powerful with his feet representing water sand representing it he opened the blind man's eyes so he would do it for you too believe it don't doubt it do not doubt it believe totally in your heart that god who is able to restore all man will restore you and save you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. Thank you all for being here. I've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for being here. God bless each and every one of you. God keep you safe. God preserve you and God protect you. In Jesus name, we have prayed. Amen, amen and amen. Remain blessed until I come your way next time. Do not forget to share this video. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up, please give this video a thumbs up. And do not forget, don't fall victim to scammers. They don't deserve your money. God bless you and stay safe. I love you all. Bye-bye.